you guys came back for another Subi Shea's video with me on a beautiful August morning, guys. Thank you for being here. All I can say is today is going to be wild, it's going to be wacky, and it's going to be unconventional. What if I elevator pitched you guys and said, I had a razor that could make it so that you could use half a DE razor, had a single edge, right? Single edge, half DE, and was adjustable. Come on in. Welcome. Welcome to the show. That's what we're doing today. And guys, it's going to be really fun. And if you're new and you have not seen this, if you're a newbie Subi shaver, you've never seen the Subi on the Tubi, as I've heard people say, go below. Give me a thumb. Give me a comment. Give me a sub. I would tell you guys how much it means to me. I just, it, I, I can't tell you guys. I can't express it in words. How much I appreciate your willingness to be here and your backing. You guys just mean the world to me. And guys, there's so many of you that have been here from the beginning. We did get some new subs, um, some people that reached out and said they liked the, the content. Nordic Inc., thank you, dude. Thank you so much. So I'm, I'm glad I hit home. Yeah, I am new, and so this is kind of a, it's kind of a beta process. I'm still learning so many things after even... I, you know what happened? You know what happened, guys? I was just mowing through, super excited. Didn't talk about my software, so I'm going to cut this in. Today, guys, we're using... Oceana by B&M. Oceana by B&M. It's a monster scent. It is one of my favorites of all time, if you can't tell. This, I just barely got this, too. Whenever I get a chance to do a body shave off camera, what are the, what are the, if I'm doing just a personal shave, it's usually the scent. I really like the scent. The scent, to me, it's aquatic. It is just like Aquadigio, but not the Aquadigio green or whatever. It, this is the ocean scent. It's beautiful. It's very fragrant. And for me, guys, it has a long-lasting staying power, so I use it. I smell like it all day, and I really enjoy this scent. Today, we're going to match that with the splash and with the balm. And what I wanted to mention is B&M's products are all fantastic, but I do get different scent strength and different notes out of the balm versus the cream, guys. Uh, I use them both. I'll use them together. The cream is very nice. But the cream has that kind of lotion smell to it. And I think it detracts from how pretty the splash is, personally. I don't know if everybody, anybody else feels that way. Well, I, just, <laughs> I put it up to the camera like, you guys smell. It smells to me um, just like a stronger variant of the soap. Just very, very aquadigio forward. Kind of like when you're spraying your cologne and then you wipe that little bit of residue from the nozzle on your like hand. or you run, It has that kind of essence to it. It's just really strong. And it's very nice. Guys, I apologize that I have to cut this in. It's going to seem kind of abnormal. Maybe I'll make some weird faces or something, you know, just to, to mix it in there. I'm sorry, guys. I messed up. All right. Enjoy the video, guys. It's a great shape. It's worth watching. I'll watch this like, next time. So thank you for be, you know, being willing to watch the content. Um, ben, Brian, some of these new people that have never been here. Thank you, guys. I, Brian said he's watched like 10 of my videos now. And he just keeps binging it. So... Thank you guys so much. Let's get, let's, let's move on with this. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Um, what are we doing today? What are we doing? I'm going to tell you guys what we're doing. We're going to use the Schick M1 razor, guys. This was made in the late 60s to the start of the 70s, okay? Was not produced very long. It uses an injector razor blade, and it goes to seven and a half on this little tile. This little toggle right here, you spin it, and it has uh, up to seven, or seven and a half. But there's like 10 mini clicks in between each click. And what that allows for, guys, is like 70 different levels of aggressiveness. All right. And what you're going to see is after you, you, take your, you take your little toggle and you spin it. And watch this front plate as I'm spinning, guys. You see it adjusting down. It increases exposure. And it just keeps going. Like you can just crank it all the way down. That's at seven and a half or eight. I think it's actually at eight. Um, doesn't feel like you get all the turns into eight, but that's that's what that's where it's at. It's a full open. Okay, that's how it works. What we're gonna do today is a little different. We're gonna take this guy, and we're gonna use. You ready for this, guys? You ready for this? this is gonna, I'm so happy. We're gonna be using this. The, the tweezers. You guys not see me bust out tweezers. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to load this thing without using a key. And this guy usually slides into here and then you push your razor blade in. I don't want to do that. It's, it's, it's a method for me that it's kind of... Uh, I don't know. I just don't like loading those, trying to put my blades into them. And then, especially with DE blades, they're nice and thin. 
So what I've done, guys, is I've snapped my DE blades in half, okay? Just like this. And I've done it with uh, med prep today, guys. So we're going to be using, actually, no, we're using these ones. These are the Wizmets. The Wizmets were really good yesterday. So this is, this is right here is a Wizmet blade I've snapped in half. And then you just take your uh, skizzes, your Subi skizzes, guys. I'm going to walk you through this process today really quick. Subi skizzes, and you chop the, the teeth off. And this kind of comparatively, because I had somebody ask me what it looks like side by side. Let me show you guys what that looks like side by side. You guys see where I'm cutting? Does that give you guys a good idea of what's being, oh, good sliding. What's being removed? Hopefully that helps. I'm removing the teeth. And the less amount of teeth you remove, right? If you, the less high up you cut, the more aggressive that blade's gonna feel. So you can kind of even alter the exposure and the blade aggressiveness and the feel to it by just not cutting off as high up. And this one I've cut pretty, pretty, evenly i feel like this is a pretty moderate cut um and what you're going to do is you're going to in order to use one of these that doesn't open right i've shown you guys the e and the g and the h that i open right these don't open so what you have to do is you have to manipulate the spring and these tweezers <laughs> they slide right in guys almost as if it was it was meant to be it was meant to be with the subi <laughs> on the tubi what do you guys think just like that it slides right into the into the back of the razor that opens it up and that opens it up for shenanigans, for some shenanigans, some shoo shenanigans is what we're doing. And we're gonna grab that blade that I cut, guys, right here. We're just gonna grab it, and I'm gonna try to do this on camera. The reason why I yesterday didn't have the video, guys, is I used the same setup yesterday, and I didn't get a good um, video with me, like, trying to assemble it, and I just, I didn't feel like I did you guys justice. So I'm gonna do my best to do give you guys justice here, and really show you guys what I'm doing. I'm gonna do it up here. Usually I do this down here, it's much easier down here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the razor blade into the, into the, and I'm going to make sure I'm in set here. I'm going to slam it into the side of this razor with it, partially open. And this is really important, guys. If you're using one of these, make sure it's turned all the way up to eight or whatever your furthest setting is, seven and a half, eight, whatever you want to call this, max. Open it all the way up, and that's going to allow you to be able to slide um, the razor in without having it touch that bar. You see how it's not touching the bar? That allows you to keep a completely um, like uh, sharp blade that hasn't been slid across those open bars. If you tighten it all the way down, I've noticed that it actually will rub occasionally. So it just makes it easier. It just really does make it easier to slide this blade. I'm gonna grab a towel now, and I just grab my blade now and slide it in, guys. But it's not, not rocket science here. I won't lie to you. It's just, I, I slide it right in. Nice, easy. Do you guys see how I did that? I hope I got that on camera. I really tried yesterday and it did not work out for me. I tried and that's why I didn't get a video yesterday. I felt so guilty. I couldn't release a video that was, you know, just not easy to see what I was doing. It's kind of a hard thing to do up here. So I usually will use a plastic shim, right guys? And I'll push that in and out and it, it's easier to do that when it's at the right angle down here. It's really hard to do this. So I'll just, I'll, I'll use the towel. It's not as safe. Use a little shim to push it in. And then what you do is you just take out your, your uh, tweezers or whatever you've done. I've seen this done uh, with an M, not this version, but a different uh, shake with scissors. I highly recommend tweezers because it's much safer. You don't have a blade to slip around and cut you. There you guys go. We have a DE razor blade inside of a shit M Razor, and you can cut these tabs off. I'm not going to today. And the reason why I'm not going to is I, I actually use them with the towel. But if you're using it and you're pushing it in with a shim, you can use a, you can cut them off and then you don't have any overhang. There you guys go. And what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna crank this down to like, I'm gonna try a five today. Um, I did a seven yesterday. I did it all the way open up, so eight, whatever on my neck. It was a little aggressive on my neck. I liked it on my face, so we're actually gonna go to six today. I'm gonna start at a six. And that's what's kind of cool about these, right? Is that you can adjust how much aggressiveness and how much exposure is there just with the top, with with that with that little knob. And it uses using a DE blade. And so as we're lathering up, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and why I like that, right? Not everybody has access, guys, to the Schick injector razor blades, okay? And I've been contacted several times by people that said, oh, you know, I'd love to use one of those. I can't get that in my country. Um, on top of that, I've, I've had people tell me they're cost prohibitive. The guys, the ones I like are a dollar a piece. And yeah, they last forever. I get a lot of shaves out of them. I get 20 shaves, 30 shaves out of one blade. 
but at a buck, it can be, you know, I can understand that's a steep, steep price where the DE blades are like five cents. And honestly, guys, because this is adjustable, as the blade starts wearing out, you just increase your um, exposure and you just keep shaving. It, it does, it, it does offer some options. And I like options here. And you guys can see, nice, smooth, I'm not doing a ton of pressure. Just make sure you're using the Schick angle. That's really the key here. Or else you won't do anything, right? That's that's how these work. But I was amazed yesterday how smooth that shave was for the little amount of effort I had to put in. Look at this. Do you guys see how good this is? Look how good this is, guys. Look at that. No problems, no fuss. Oh, beautiful shave, guys. And I'm at 24 hours of growth right now. And it mows it down like it doesn't even exist. Yeah, perfect. I love it. And this is the M1, guys. And I tried to show, I own um, two different variants. And I tried to show them yesterday and it got jumbled and it got confusing. And then I was picking up the wrong one half the time. It was not good. So, But I do feel like the one without the guard bar, because there's one that has a switch you turn on and you can it, incre uh, it has a little guard bar that comes up. I feel like that one I do not get as good of a shave with using the DE blade. I don't know why. I feel like this M1 is a little bit more aggressive than the uh, later variant with the with the switch. And I, 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 it's just my opinion. I don't know. I've, I've shaved with them both several times. I'm more of a fan of the M1 than I am the others. I don't know. It's just my personal preference. The, the first generation of them. And again, this is at six so not even all the way open up we can go with more exposure if we really wanted to i don't really need to i find that the six with a really sharp blade is plenty can you guys hear this nice feedback really really good feel on the skin too and it's just absolutely comfortable smooth and I like this too for the blades that I don't usually like like often. My really aggressive blades fit really well in these kind of situations where, you know, you can adjust the aggressiveness and these almost favor an aggressive razor blade. So for instance, if you got Bix sitting at home and you hate your Bix because they're too aggressive, this is a good opportunity to bust out your Bix and try them in a uh, Schick razor. I know it's goofy. I know it's weird. But guys, look at the shave we're doing. Look at this shave. Look how cool this is. And I want to mention this. Um, out of all my videos of all time, right, my most unviewed video ever was when I used a cold shave and the M, um, the toggle, it's the toggle variant of the razor. It was my most unviewed. No one viewed it. It was good content. It was just, I feel like it was good content. It just didn't get any views. And I think the reason why is because maybe there's not as much uh, interest in the in the later variants of the Schick razors. But guys, they're awesome. The ones from the 60s are fantastic. Um, especially this one where you can adjust how mild or not mild it is. I feel like Schick got too mild, especially with some of the L's, M's, J's. It got really mild. But being able to control that mild in nature and get a much more aggressive or, my, uh, you know, to hone it, to tune it to you guys, to tune it. I like that. And these are, when you look at the, you know, the cost and the comfort and the closeness, the three Subi C's that I preach, um, I feel like you can get these sometimes at a good deal. I think the, I'm, I paid $25 and then this one was given to me um, as part of a, I, I bought it as a lot package. So it's kind of hard to balance the, the pricing on it. And it was broken. Uh, this one actually came, I fixed it. You can, I don't know if you guys can see this. I actually, it was, it came broken. That handle would be, it could be removed. So what I did is I just went in and glued it back together. <laughs> it works for me. It's not pretty, but it works for me. And I, I think you can get these sometimes for like as low as five, ten dollars on, um, like some of the bargain places. Usually they're about twenty bucks, and I feel like for twenty dollars, that's a great cost. Um, look at this lather, by the way. Oh, no, we didn't talk about it. I knew it. Guys, I knew it. This razor is jinxed. It's jinxed, guys. I will 
cut a thing in the beginning about the lather, guys. I will cut a thing in about the lather. Oh my heavens. The razor's jinx. I blame the razor. This is the third attempt at filming this type with the DE razor blade. Doesn't want to happen. But this is the B&M Oceana and it fills, smells, and looks just so good. It looks so nice. I know. I know you guys are sitting there like, he never talked about the gear. Not a brush or anything. Guys, I was too excited about this razor shave. And I'm telling you, I've tried this now three times. Three freaking times and can't get a, can't get it. We're running with it today. We're running with it. That is what is happening. There you guys go. Nice, fast, super close, unirritating. Next shave. And yeah, sure, we were doing something that definitely Schick would not have approved of, but yeah, that's all right with me. Schick wouldn't have maybe approved of us doing this with their, their M variant, but it feels so good. And yesterday, guys, I actually overshaved. Um, I didn't realize I got such a good pass on my first pass. And so I went to, and my, my second pass was not as comfortable. I didn't realize I had gotten as, look at this, look how close that is. Instantaneously after my second pass, I was like, oh, that's rough. That that did not feel great. So, yep, I'm going to do it with one pass today on the neck. Because it's very efficient with that razor blade. Very efficient. Dude, check it out. Huh? I know. I know. it. Awesome shave, guys. Awesome shave. A shave that you may not have done. And this may be a razor that you have sitting in your closet and not using very often. This is just some water, guys. I'm just washing off my face. Um, so, if you have one... Yeah, they cut super close. It's very comfortable. It's You can usually get them at a good price. I say pick one up if you can and try this method. It's fantastic. It's easy. You saw it didn't take very much effort. You guys rock. Thank you for being here. And I apologize again for not showing software. Oh my goodness. It's too excited. Too excited. Um, this is going to be the Oceana Splash, guys, up front. Oh. I know I've talked about this a lot, but this is one of my favorite splashes on the market right now. It's like Aqua Digio meets Ocean, guys. It smells so good. Oh, yeah, it's 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 beautiful. I've heard people say it was like 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 a, a gourmand. Somebody's like, oh yeah, it's gourmand. I'm like, this is not gourmand to me. Oh, this is just it's so nice. Very potent, it's very fragrant, and it smells super good. Just put it everywhere. Thank you guys for being here. Um, like I said, uh, great stuff coming down the line. We got some fun fun content planned for us. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. And, oh, balm. This is the balm, guys. And I'm just going to throw a little bit on today. Because I just like how it fills. Oh. Kind of, cha it changes the scent for me. The balm smells different, but I don't mind that. Thank you guys for being here. You guys rock. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have wonderful Wednesdays. We're halfway through our work week, and then we're getting free. Yes! Bye, guys.